Okay, so No Man's Sky has been out a couple of days now and we've already got to a stage where we've got mods uh, on the PC. So in this video I'm going to show you how to extract um, and recompile um, a folder in order to make those mods work inside of No Man's Sky. I'm not going to show you how to do any mods in particular, I'm just going to show you how to extract the file, um, what you would do at the stage where you could be putting your mods in and then how to put it back together to be put back into the game. Um, so it would show up. So the first thing you want to do is head to the link in the description and you'll download this uh, PS Arc Decompile Tools download button there. It's uh, no man's sky mods dot com. Uh, links in the description. Go ahead and download that tool. And I always recommend people uh, set up a folder with all the mods in. Um, so your tools, your mods, the backups, and the rest of it. So I've got a folder here called just NMS mods and inside of it I have the psarc.exe which I've just downloaded and extracted from the zip file I have just a shortcut to the game and I also have a shortcut to the install directory so if I double click this I can easily get access to all the games files so the game data and the PC banks which is where all these pack files are which is where all the content of the game is so if you wanted to modify anything you'd have to look through these pack files extract them replace whatever you want to, change whatever you wanted and then put it back into here. So I'm going to choose a random one. I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to right click, copy and I'm just going to go back to my little uh, mods uh, folder that I've got just to keep everything nice and tidy. I'm going to paste it in. Okay so this is the one we're going to be this is the one we're going to be modifying. What you want to do now is open up a uh, command prompt so you can press uh, win with the Windows key and R and that'll bring up the run and just type in CMD and that'll bring up command prompt for you. There are other ways to do it but I'm just going to show you that way. And what we need to do is we need to get uh, the directory we're looking at the moment is uh, C users and then my user profile so Joe. What I want to do is get to this folder so I can come up to here in Windows and you can see this is the directory C users Joe desktop NMS mod so I can just copy that go back to CMD and if you type in CD um, and then the the directory that we just copied we're now inside the folder we're, we're going to be using so because PSARC is a command line tool it's not a, uh, a GUI uh, program so if I double click it you can see it just it runs and closes so what we have to do is we have to run it from uh, command prompt. So here I'll have them kind of side by side. Let's try and get this in. So I've got command prompt open and what I want to do now is I want to use PSR to extract this pack file. So uh, inside of CMD what you're going to type is psarc.exe so we're calling upon the psarc executable file extract you want to extract the file you need to type in dash y and then here you type in uh, the name of the file so rather than looking here and typing it and potentially spelling it wrong just go onto the file click to rename it highlight the whole name copy and then come back into command prompt and paste and then simply hit enter and what it's going to do is it should extract all of the files out of that pack file and put it into a folder um, so what we need to do now is you need to keep this open and we need to copy the entire thing. So not the entire thing, obviously, not 100% the whole of it. What you need is the first line where it says extracting all the way down. Okay, it's a lot of lines there. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, all the way down to the last line. So uh, you're going to highlight it all. You can't right click and copy, so you're going to have to do control C. And then I'm going to open up um, Notepad++. Okay, if you haven't got this, get this. It's a brilliant uh, text editor. I'm going to paste it in. So here you can see I've got the entire um, command line output. And what we want to do is save it. And I'm going to save this in the folder that we're working in. So No Man's Sky should be here somewhere. No Man's Sky mods there. So I want to save it in our in our mods file and just for ease of use you can call it anything simple A, B, 1, 2, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to call it 1 
and it's just going to be a normal text file so hit save on that and then just make sure it's there yep it's there so what we want to do now is we want to get rid of this part extracting and the file size at the end of the line now to do that for every single one well let's just scroll down to the bottom and see how many lines we have okay we have 300 lines here so you have to do that 300 times individually not with notepad plus uh, plus we can go control F and that brings us our well we don't need to find we want to replace and what we want to replace is going to be the word extracting with a colon at the end so that's what we're finding and we're going to replace it with nothing so just leave that blank and hit replace all you can see uh, it's removed that extracting from the beginning of the line okay so then to remove all of the instances where we have uh, brackets a number and then bytes obviously we don't want to do this individually because we'd be searching for a bracket replace it with nothing research uh, replace the word bytes for nothing it's a lot easier to do um, what we would call regular expression and whereby we type in a few symbols and I'll put that on the screen well I'll put it on the in the description but it's backslash open bracket uh, full stop star and then dollar sign okay so let's see if this works yep so what that's really said is um, anything after the in first instance of the open bracket all the way to the end of the line remove that so that's that done we can close out of that and if you look down here all you should see is a list uh, a file structure list there should be no words of extracting there should be no file size and no brackets this is how it should look so you can close that out and now we have that uh, text file so now we've got that um, what we can do is head into the uh, the folder that we just extracted and um, obviously if there is which I don't think there's going to be, let's see if we can find any .dds files just for it, no there's no .dds files so what you would find if you depend on which file you extract obviously I've not extracted a very good one here um, but is files other than these .mbin uh, .pc files what you would normally find is a, a DDS file which would be um, any kind of image or texture in the game you can modify um, I have no idea what's in any of these folders so if I go into game data PC banks you've got how many have we got in here uh, 62 to go through uh, there's one here that's just shy of a gigabyte um, no idea what could be in that you need to ex experiment and see if people have documented this on the internet at the moment I'm unaware of what's inside each of those files so I can't really give you a demonstration of how to do this but let's just say for example we went in and we affected this file so I've replaced it and now I want to compress this folder back into this uh, dot pack file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this one. I'm going to put uh, at the beginning. I'm just going to call it backup dash, uh, and then that's the file name. Because what we're going to want to do is compress this back into the same name as this file, but obviously it already exists until I added backup in there. So in order to um, compress it, let's go back to it. I'm just going to CLS clear the screen okay so in order to compress it we're going to call upon the psr.exe uh, file again an executable application it's going to ask us what we want to do so first time we put extract this time we're going to put create uh, space dash a um, don't worry what that means just put it in double dash no space sorry no z lib okay double dash Zlib is the compression we're going to be using. And then it's going to ask us what input file. Um, I'll explain this in a second. So, if you remember, we named our text file here one.txt. Um, it's going to ask us, well, where are the files that we're going to put into this uh, compressed singular file? Obviously, this text file has the directory to all of the files we want to be put into this one compressed file. So it's going to open up this text file and look at the directory line by line. Uh, so once we've got that in, uh, space, double dash again. This time it's asking us for what's the output file. So what do you want to call uh, this compressed file once I've done? 
So just for simp simplicity at this stage, our, um, I'm just going to call our file psarc.psarc. Hopefully this works. Let's enter. And it's archiving and compressing. And it should be done in a couple of seconds. Okay, so it's done. It just tells us there's 300 files archived. That was its original size. And that's the final size. So it looks... Uh, we've got about a 68% compression ratio there. Uh, but that's not that interesting. So what we want to do is take this name, obviously minus the backup dot dash, copy that, psr dot psr, let's rename it, and hit yes on that, don't worry about that little pop-up, and that's our modified pack file. Um, what you can see here immediately is that it is a slightly different file size, so just be wary of how big your files are getting, it might affect uh, the loading time, it might affect the stability of the game. But once you've done it, that's your final packed file with your mods in. Obviously, I didn't make any mods, but that was the idea behind uh, just a quick demonstration of the video. Um, you're going to right click, copy it, go to your install directory, game data, PC banks, and paste it in. If I paste it, it's going to ask me to replace it. I don't want to because I've not actually made any mods so I'm just going to leave it as is but once it's been put back in there you can then boot the game up and your mods should be, obviously fingers crossed, working. So um, if you have any questions make sure you check the description below, read some of the comments, some people might have asked a question that you're about to ask and I will have replied to it or someone else will reply to it. Um, if you're still having problems or the, the answer to your problem isn't there obviously feel free to leave a, uh, a comment. So thanks for watching and Get modded.